So, you wanna master the four elements with no time, I got you mate, earth, water, maybe even kabooms, look no further. To get those cool simulations without the need to mastering them, and it all in one click right to Blender. So let's see how it's done. There are sites that provides simulation samples like the ones we showed, and it's done with various programs, Houdini for example, or Embergen, and it's called Volumetric Database Files or VDB. The site we will work with has its simulations done with the Embergen software, you can read all about it here and download the program if you're into that. What attract me the most here is that it's all free for the samples down below with CC0 license, so you're good to use them in anything, and you can download the files directly with one click. Each of those samples has the frame number under it along with the size, so you might check that up ahead, cause some of them are a bit big in size. So manage according to your device. I will go with the gasoline explosion for this one so let's hit the download button to get the zip file of it. Once we have the file, I can extract it and you can see inside the VDB sequence files numbered to 130 frames. Now in Blender, let us start by changing the timeline frames to the same 130 for the simulation. Then what we need to do is just hit Shift A for the add menu, look for volume, and hit import open VDB, select the sequence we extracted before and import it to your scene. It's now in the scene, since it appears in the layer section, but we can't see it, even if you zoom in into the volume, so in that case just start the animation and it should appear. Here it is, quite big for Blender since it's done with a different software, so I will scale it down to fit my scene. By changing the pivot point type from the top bar, we can scale the volume down to the world origin rather than the volume center. The simulation is quite rough in the middle and you can smooth the animation sometimes by changing the sync type to frame dropping, however with this one it starts jumping lots of frames so I leave back on default. Now let me put the timeline in the middle and switching to render view to see what's happening. By the way, I am on Evi since with cycles, the process is much easier and we will see how it looks in both engines. The first thing we would notice is that there's no fire or flames, nothing exploding, so to fix this, we need to open a material editor on the side, hit a new material on this volume and that will add a new principal volume on it. And if any of you worked with Blender simulations before, you might figure it out by now, it's about the right attribute. So in our case the bottom attribute named temperature, however we need a fire, so what you need to do is check the volume menu on the right, it has the cloud icon on it, there in the grids tab you will find something that refer to fire, in our case it's called flames, it might be called heat or anything else, you just copy the name, whatever it is, and write it in the attribute field. Next. We need to increase the black body intensity to 1 for now, and according to the result, we might need to increase or decrease the temperature. In our case, we put the black body intensity on 1, still nothing happened, so we need to increase the temperature value up to around 10 or 20 K. The other case is that, the black body on the value of 1 make the fire appear to bright, so you manage the temperature down. Now we have both the smoke and the fire, but it looks awful. To fix the look on it, we need to manage every volumetric render settings, and as we said before, with cycles once you fix the fire, it is good to go, and it will appear with an awesome look with every to get a decent appearance for the simulation. Head to the volumetric tab, the we can change three things, first the tile size, the less it is the more quality you get, so put it on 2 or 4, the samples is opposite of that so make it on max which is 256, it won't go over that.
and finally turn on volumetric shadows, by now it should look similar to cycles. You can after all this go back to the principal volume node, and everything from the color to this slider will control the smoke, so you can change the color or the density to show more or less fire on it. The slider here will affect the light on smoke from one side to the other, however this effect works best with cycles so leave it on zero with heavy. The bottom values are for the flames, increase the black body intensity if you need more of them, say like 10, or manage it with the temperature. You can also change the flames color using the black body tint. Finally, you see all the dots on the node's left side, all of those are inputs for you to add various plugs such as the math node or the color mix and ramps. This will give you much more control over the entire simulation appearance. Now to take this look to a new level, you need to fully manage your heavy render settings, and we have the right video for you right here, so you might watch it. See you guys next time, stay sharp, goodbye.